how to create hip hop beats in Koala. I'm starting with a loop. I already have the BPM set at the tempo of the loop, 98 beats per minute. Let's take a listen. I've got my metronome on just to make sure that the tempo's lining up. We're gonna start out by adding a hi-hat. So let's see if we can find a good hat. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so we're gonna go that, import. All right, now I'm gonna copy that hi-hat into another pad oh, in the sample window. And bring down the volume. So now I've got one a little bit quieter than the other so I can get that back and forth. All right, let's add in a hi-hat pattern. Actually, I'm gonna take this pitch down a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hit it on the one. Yeah, I've just let the quantize clean that right up for you. I'm not doing the unquantized thing today. Maybe another time. I like using the swing. Honestly, I find it hard to get the unquantized how I want it on an iPad. Let's go back to import. And this time we are looking for a kick. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I feel like that might be it. Ooh, that that is nice though. Okay, so we're going with that one little bit cleaner there we are back in koala I'm gonna move this sample over to here make a copy of it toss this one and I'm gonna do a similar thing I'm gonna take the volume down on one of these so this one's what I this the, the quieter ones what I call an accent kick so now we've got Honestly, I think I'm doing this a little backwards. I want to add the snare before I record my kick sequence. I feel like the, the kick's going to play around the snare. So going back to import audio, we're going to find a, a snare. I like that. That just feels good. So so yeah, I'm going to turn off my metronome at this point. I got the hi-hats playing it, and I'm going to record the snare. Let's throw in a little bit of swing. Yeah, get those drums. A little bit more human feel, and now we can add our kicks. At this point, now that you've got your loop, mess with the levels a little bit. I think I want my kicks louder. And I might mess with the, uh, the tone of this accent kick. Take that down a little. Yeah, there it is. So we're done, only here is a bonus round. If I go into uh, perform and I hit my uh, hold and the reverb a little bit, if I go back to my snare, we can get like a, a nice reverby thwack on that. You only want a little bit of reverb probably. Yeah, so we can get a nice reverb tail on there. Now, I want to make sure in my settings that I have 
hold to record on, and I'm going to go to sample, hold this down. Oh, wait, 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 hold this down. <laughs> Wrong thing, need to make sure that you set this to resample from app. Now, hold this down, hit that. Now we've got a snare with a nice reverb tail. And now I don't even have to re-record. I can simply take my other snare, delete it, throw that new reverb snare in there, and now we've got... Uh, and make sure you turn off this. It's a cool beat, man. Have fun with it. Thank you.